Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today. What I'm going to be bringing you is a Bradford City versus Crawley Town vlog. Now if you do go on to enjoy today's video, please make sure you drop a like on it. If you could try and hit 100 likes on today's video, that would be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you are new as well. We are now on the road to 6,000 subscribers, so make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already. Get your post notification bell as well so you never miss a video of when I upload. And make sure as well to drop a comment in down in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts on today's match? Share the video around with your family and friends as well. Now today we are looking to maintain our unbeaten run. I think we picked up 7 out of our last possible at 9 points. Crawling on some good form at the moment though. I think they've lost their last three games, I think they've drawn the one before that, so they're without a win in four matches, I do believe. So they'll be looking to pick up another three points uh, and get back to winning ways at Valley Parade. We need another three points, so if we are serious about this promotion push, we need another three points today. In terms of the score prediction, I'm going to go with a 2-1 to Bradford City. I'm going to go with Quezia Appiah to get the goal for Crawley. And then I'm going to go with Charles Burnham and Matty Daly to get the goals for Bradford City. Make sure you drop a like on today's video, subscribe if you are new as well, and I shall see you all at Valley Parade. Well, I didn't expect Crawley to bring many, but they've brought even less than what I expected. That is dreadful support. Fair play to those who have uh, made the journey up, but that is shocking support. Come on, City, let's have another three points. Also, last minute change, I think because of Dawson in for Oscar Frelke, who looks to have been injured in the warm up. Great change, isn't it? He's done the hard bit, all he needs to do is put it in the back of the Wow! He's just going to start that. Three kick and draw. Three to uh, put it into the box. Oh, I'm not going to stutter. Sam Williams is. He's in Dawson players. Don't let him shoot. Well, what kind of one? 14 on the ball. One of their players fall in the back. It's a bit of a It was. Well, it's not as soon as I did that. It's well wide. It's a great ball for Cousin Dawson to walk in. Is another assist for Burnham, another goal for Cook, and we take the lead. Come on! And the end is good. And he goes, and he goes. And the end is good. He gets the ball, he scores the goal. And the end is good. Is that 10 for the season now? Come on. Come on, Burnham. Thank you. 
Well, we've got on the counter here. Seven for shot. Easy to pass. No cross, no cross. It's too easy. Out there, Why is he on mark? Oh, oh. see it, boss. Why is it completely free header at the back post? How the hell did that go in? Marshall with a great Again. ball in. It's completely free header at the back post when it goes. And the, I mean, we've sat back for the, the last 25 minutes. It's been coming. There's no shot. We play so good in the first half, and then we sit back in the second half. Yeah. It just doesn't make sense. And it, why has it got a completely free header at the back post? That's everything you said from Joe. Well, we're going to have to go now. So, now we've got one team for this. If it continues like this, it's not us. Oh, you've got a free Elliot. Oh! oh he's not a good game at all. Yeah. I don't know what's up with Walker, he's not a good game at all. He'll track him out of the video. Crash on the ball. Puts in. In. Ended out by Canavan. Bradford City leaving field number six, sponsored by Metal Tech. Yes, Sunday! 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 Oh, he would have shot on the lead on the ball for the side. Yeah. Oh, cleared out by Nichols. Yeah. For all the free kick. Oh, oh, post. oh my god, oh, done it. Five is back to the back to the front. They've done it again to us. It's Tony Craig, I think, number five. Sat back all second half. It's been good. He's got a little second home defeat of the season. It's just not good enough. It's just not good enough. And Valley Parade is empty and very good. Great time running out. Well, for all the probable matches, we did not like to the second half. It's been very cold. It's very cold. Good time. Two on three. Did someone say Groundhog Day? Because that's exactly what it felt like once again this season. I'm just going to read out a little stat from you from the amount of times we've dropped points so far this season. Walsall at home, two points dropped. Bristol Rovers at home, two points dropped. Forest Green at home, two points dropped. Tranmere away, potentially three points lost. Crawley at home, three points lost. All on Derek Adams and his tactics. We go 1-0 up and sit back every time and lose points most times. Another thing as well, Crawley... Um, in terms of minutes 1 to 45, a second in the league, if, if you did it, if it, a football matchup was only the first 45 minutes, they would be second in the table. In terms of 45 to the night, well, the 46 minutes to the 90th minute, so the second half, they're bottom of the league. They are worse than teams like Scunthorpe, Colchester, in terms of the second half. We dominated them in that first half. We were absolutely fantastic. I don't think I've seen us play that well so far this season at all. We were unbelievable. And then, what the hell changed at half time? I, I've just seen. A completely different Bradford City side in that second half. We sit back from minute 46 and when they equalise, we're still under the cosh. Uh, it's just two terrible goals to give away. The, the first goal, well, if we speak about our goal, it's absolutely fantastic play. Cousin Dawson, Walker, Daly, Cook, Vernon, they're all involved. Vernon puts a great ball in towards Andy Cook at the back post. It's pretty much a cheat code in League 2 to have a winger who goes to the byline and puts the ball in towards the back post and you have somebody like an Andy Cook there. He's going to... That's Andy Cook's bread and butter. He did... Should probably have had a hat-trick today, though he missed a, a really good chance before his goal on his left foot, which he shanked over the bar. And then early on in the second half as well, he's about four or five yards out. Somehow the keeper saved. I don't know if it's a good save or a poor shot, but Andy Cook should at least have had two today, if not three. The first goal that we concede then, I mean, Marshall has loads of time. I don't know why he's got so much space to be able to put a ball into the box. And then Nichols is completely unmarked at the back post. I thought Cousin Dawson actually had quite a decent first half because second half, no one was above a 5 out of 10. But in terms of the first half, Cousin Dawson did really well, apart from a, a little foul that he did, which saw him uh, pick up a yellow card, which you know could have maybe been red. I think he did think it was quite a bad tackle. But Cousin Dawson just stood there at the back post, just not marking him. And he has a completely free header. 
maybe Bass should have saved it. I'm not really too sure. It looked like it was going wide and then it somehow creeps in. Uh, the second goal as well, I mean, Gilead, I don't know what he's doing. I mean, when he comes on the pitch, he's literally like playing with 10 men because as soon as Vernon went off, we just knew it was going to be painful to watch, to be honest. We had no out ball. We had no attacking outlet. Um, but yeah, uh, Crawley are coming forward there. Uh, in, uh, just inside our half, nothing's really happening and Gilead gives away such a stupid foul. Instead of tracking back and actually putting a decent challenge in, which he'd done just a few moments ago, he decided just to give away a pointless free kick. They put that free kick into the box towards the back post. Again, it's another pretty unchallenged header and it somehow goes into the back of the net. I don't really know what happened, to be honest. It wasn't ideal at all. It was just really, really poor. First half, we were unbelievable. Second half, we've sat back and today was the first time at home games I've heard this season. You know, people actually chanting Adams out. Obviously, there was a lot of boos as you would expect. Elliot came off the bench as well. He made his debut. I mean, he literally looks like Theo Robinson, who was a, a few inches taller. He was not very good at all. He ran around like a bit of a headless chicken. He didn't really do all too much. Didn't really win many headers, and it just wasn't really great. And we're not going to get promoted when our three striking options, apart from Andy Cook, are Lavery, Robinson and Tom Elliott. That's not going to get you promoted out of this league. But anyway, I could keep ranting on. I could always rant after a defeat or a draw because it's just boring. It's the same thing happening every time. The same thing will probably happen on Tuesday. But that's where I'm going to leave it for today's video. If you have enjoyed, somehow a like as always will be massively appreciated. Good channel, hit 100 likes on today's video. That would be absolutely class. Subscribe if you are new as well. We are now on the road to 6,000 subscribers. So make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already. Get your post notification bell on as well so you never miss a video of when I upload and make sure as well to drop a comment in down in the comment section down below what were your thoughts on today's defeat share the video around with your family and friends as well have a great rest of your day thank you for watching and I shall see you all very soon for another video peace